Also, at least your save point wasn't that too. So wait a minute, yeah, find out like if you did something fucking huge and ridiculous before. Like it's on, it, it is with the axis of the buttons. Yeah. Uh, so you're gonna have to find that shit again because that looked really fucking useful. You got axes. What's awesome? Wasted all my fucking hearts. I actually need to go anyway, farm some hearts. But yeah, I, I don't know what I did because it was on this awful fucking Xbox controller. What are you telling me that it was a motion? Yeah. Oh, then give it to me. Which we, button? What's not... the attack button? X. I don't. Half circle? Half circle back? Port circle forward? Oh, yeah, oh, sure I was back. Sure that. It's back. not doing anything. I don't know if that was it. I'm doing like almost every single like Street Fighter motion. With X, I with... Mean, you may need to have a certain number of hearts to do it. Did you hold down X? Uh, I don't remember, honestly. Can you try it? I think it? <laughs> that's holding down X. There. Yeah. Hold X is held down. Okay. You swing and it just does nothing. Well, it's not a charge move. No, it's not a charge move. Fuck. No. I'm poisoned? Really? They... <sighs> Probably poison tears. Poison! It's awful. It doesn't even let me get up there. What's... What good are you? <laughs> oh shit. So, okay, left hand weapon, this weapon. That's how Directional fun. buttons are moving uh, on screen menu actions. Man, I got one fucking heart after all that fucking up work. Up and circle. So up and B. Is that what that does? Yeah. Okay. Backdash. It's the fireball move. I oh, know I want this. Aruka. You gotta say it all properly. Aruka. Aruka. Rocking. Why does it feel like my moves are doing less now? Seriously, it felt like I leveled up and then my attack was doing less damage. Maybe that's the game. Unless that was like, oh, that effect of poison, but I don't know why that would be. Yeah, it just says that it's it's Hellfire. It's like a three fireball attack, and it just says it costs 15 MP. So you have it, but you have to find out how to use it. You have to find out within your spell list. Which is somewhere in there. Let's start really quick. Go to the spell list. Jesus. Uh, Hellfire. Up, down. Up, wow! Up, Hadouken. Up, down, Hadouken. Okay. Try it. Actually, or B. Oh, it's, it's, it's either that or B, or with the motion and B. I like his jab from this. It's that... With B. That's crazy. Cool. All right. That's neat that it adds a little bit of an executional barrier between like That's doing special is, moves. Oh yeah, B's like your secondary weapon. Yeah. Ah! No, get away! Thank you. Come again. Here you go, get. I'm not too far away from the map. I should go far away. And save again. I think if you use your fucking MP on, MP which you have. Auto regions. Yeah. If you use your MP on that fucking boss. Should probably kill him pretty quiet or pretty fast. He's the first boss of the game. That move's not exactly very good, honestly. But what else do you have? I have axes. Yeah, yeah dude. He seemed to, that guy seemed to die a lot quicker than the guy before. Huh. Wonder if I can jump here. Oh, fuck. Oh! Oh. Right in the dick. Oh, Alucard, the Alucard, Alucard, Alucard understands the weakness of men. The dick. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh, that'd be actually a pretty funny T-shirt. Go for the dick. <laughs> Enemy weakness. Go for the, the dick. dick. 
<laughs> Only like, the weakness. It's like a big Zelda like Minotaur thing, and it's just like, where's its weak spot? A big glowing red dick. <laughs> Go for the dick. Go for the glowing weak spot. I saw I saw a really mm. funny image on image on Reddit of like pet areas of of humans, cats, and dogs. Or it's like the pet area of a human, and everything of the pets of the human's body was highlighted as meh, and then its crotch was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> and then like a cat was like, like every part of its most part of its body was like meh, meh. Its arms and hands were like, fuck no. <laughs> its, its belly was like, its belly was like, you piece of shit. Its head was like, not bad. And then its butt was like, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> the cat's butt is fuck yeah. And then a dog's entire body is fuck yeah. <laughs> It's really, it's actually pretty accurate as fuck, actually. Got a leather shield. Did you equip all that stuff, by the way? No, oh, I got to put this shit. You got, you got like a, yeah, you got the hide curious. Uh, uh better. Two. Yeah. You did you get other things? Mm, nah. Nay. Simmons, we're not, we're not going through this without equipping stuff. We have to. We're not, we're not doing a naked speed run of Castlevania Symphony of the Houghton. I guess I can do that. That's gonna help out a lot. I'd imagine using a shield and using a sword can only be used once at a time. Oh, give it a freaking. Get the knife, you gotta get the knife! It's the one thing I remember from from James's fucking playthrough of the games back then. Gotta get the fucking knife! Oh, that was Ghosts and Goblins. No, oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. This is, now that I think about it, holy fuck, these games are actually really similar with like floating weapons. Well, like the classic Castlevania and Ghost and Goblins are very similar. But yeah. Not, uh, did Cap not, not Metroidvania. Did Capcom rip off Castlevania with Ghost and Goblins, or was it vice versa? It might have been vice versa, I think. I think Ghost and Goblins was on the arcades before the before first Castlevania. Castlevania was on NES. That makes sense, those games do share a lot of similar. Nice. Damage share a lot of similarities. <laughs> Bloody tears. Mm. Go, mm. Arukad! Mm. Beat this boss! Saves the game! Saves the Hideo game! He, he saves, saves, saves the Hideo game? The Hideo game. The, uh... Are we gonna stop playing Castlevania 64? No. We beat we beat the one part we were having a fucking hella big problem with. We beat it. I don't wanna, I, and I then, wanna stop. It's kinda funny how bad it is. It is pretty funny, but we ha we're at the point where we're fucking lost now. Like, actually fucking lost. Magic. Magically sealed. Fuck! I just wasted that. Fucking. I, I do remember having fun with like the, the rank up and like the uh, like the uh, stew skills and buying weapons and stuff like that. I do remember that in this game. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. <laughs> I did, but I did play this after the Dreamcast was out. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, you didn't play it back in like the day, huh? No, I, 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 well, I played it only like this came out in like what ninety seven, so I only played it like a couple years. Stay still and eat, get eat shit. <laughs> nope. You're doing pretty good. Oh fuck! You seem to be invincible when you do your sure you can fireball. Look like sure it, you ball. It? Yeah, like the entire motion is invincible. Oh, yeah, I didn't even see if this even does shit. It yeah! It certainly does! Actually, it's pretty amazing. Get away from me. I don't even seem to do it again. Up, down, fireball, forward. There you go. Sit, sit there and eat this, guys. Brah! One down. That thing does amazing, actually. They killed him in almost, like, two hits. Oh, guys, super angry. Please sit there and just eat this. Yeah! The sprite work in this game is fucking awesome. It's, like, phenomenal. Oh, shit. I don't know if I can block all that. Poor shit. Axe him in the face. I don't have any oh, axe left. Too. Shit. Leaving the heart of the cards, Yugi! Arukad, whatever. Whoa. Whatever the fuck your name is. You all look the same. Anime! Fuck. Level up! Yes! Level up twice? Satisfying, dude. Those guys must be worth that, worth that chunk. 
chunk of change right there. And I think, I don't know, like, I really- da -da 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 -da, Life max up. I really feel like Castlevania Symphony of the Night is like the full realization of what they've always wanted to make a Castlevania game. Like, like it finally does all the things besides like the crazy limitations of like old consoles. That guy just got chopped in half. That's pretty fucking awesome. Jesus like that shit, God. like, like I, I feel like Symphony of the Night is the full realization of what the creators have always wanted to make a Castlevania game. Well, I would argue that and say it's Super Castlevania 4. Super? Okay. Well, that one's like the, like, you know, the... Uh, Jesus. Because, like, Castlevania is supposed to be just sort of like a go through the castle, meet all these classic movie monsters. Yeah. And kill them kind of thing. That was very much the theme of the first one. This one's a little bit more, like, story-focused and, you know, a little... To be honest... A little bit more, like, weird gameplay shit, you know, like using swords and level up was, and, like, spells and shit. Wasn't Castlevania, quote-unquote, a cult-like thing for the NES and the SNES? I think out. okay. I think until this game it became popular. I think one was very popular. I think two was kind of had that Zelda two thing where like a lot of people were just like, "What the fuck is this? I don't get it." Yeah. Um. Well, that was with like a lot of sequels had that fucking shit on this like, on the SNES. I, I think I mean, three NES. probably came out so late in, in the fucking tears season. of destiny, poison, fuck. What the fuck is lasers? <laughs> Chucking money? Chucking money. Whoa! But yeah, um, it's like he's going down like a roller coaster. God, fuck you. Oh! Can you can you change the direction of the money you check? I don't even think so. It doesn't, doesn't look, look like it. it always goes like down forward. Nice. Fuck him. No! He's like always going down a roller coaster drop. <laughs> no! Iron, no! Iron Guard at, at, at Magic Mountain. No! No! God, that reminds me. Do you remember that website, uh, YTMND? Oh, God. Yeah. Com? yeah. They had a great fucking little gif video of uh, basic, uh, basically uh, Darth Vader on a roller coaster. No! And I remember just being just. I mean, it was stupid, but it was funny. It was like, no! <laughs> 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 One of my favorite images that came from that site was like that, it was related, it was a picture of Darth Vader in like a beach coast ocean with a giant like tub of water, like dumping water from one into the other, and it's just like this picture makes no it's sense. Like, he, I think he's got like like a cut open like you know water bottle that you buy yeah. from the store, and he's putting it into like a pitcher, yeah. like a plastic pitcher, and he's in the middle. Ocean. Of the fucking ocean. Just like dumping like one into the other. I was like, sense. This makes none. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, this, this, that was the birth of the internet right there. <laughs> the birth of the internet. Okay, I actually made a fucking CD a long time ago of all like the famous songs they used for that site. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was great. There's a lot of really funny shit. The one, the one that really made YTMND like huge was when the, um, the Final Fantasy gag happened where it's like the guy on NeoGAF posted that that or something on some forum when Final Fantasy 13 was announced for Xbox when the guy like flipped his shit about the game not only being a PlayStation brand anymore and was like like went total like nerd rage fandom and some guy like like verbally spoke out uh, or like you know uh, did, did an audio recording of the dude with this ridiculous ass post was it was he like okay so it was the initial it was post the super was butt text? hurt yeah was super it? it was of text okay yeah it was the super butt hurt guy that Final Fantasy 13 was coming to was coming to fucking um, uh, Xbox let's see if we can fire it up. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna look it up. Yeah, hold on. 